How you doing? Welcome back to that Kai guy. I um, just so want to start this video off by thanking uh, Gaz from GKP for letting me on the live there on Thursday night. It was great chatting to like minded people and overall I had a ball. Cheers, Gaz. Yeah, so the plan today, you can see the fishes behind me. The plan today is to sort out this filter house. And what I mean by that, I'll turn you around is yeah i just hate coming out here and seeing this mold on the side of the wall you can see it there so it is bathroom paint but it's just the amount because what i'm doing is that grow on is heated to 22 degrees but the room itself isn't heated obviously so what's happening is causing a lot of condensation and it's just up over the pond area really so you see there's the end of the pond and you can see the roof there 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 and along this side so what i'm doing is i have a bottle of strong white vinegar and i'm going to clean all these areas down and then i also have some anti-mold paint it's not going to solve the issue but i don't care about moisture being in here it's a filter house at the end of the day but what I do care about is just not seeing mold every time I walk out. So I'm going to take down all these shelves, clear that area. I'm going to paint all that back wall. It's a white paint as well, which is, that doesn't really make any difference. But I just want to paint all that back wall, all that side wall, and I might do all the roof as well. So I'm going to clean it down with, with white vinegar and then probably two layers to paint. I'll show you the paint when I take it out there, but I'll get this thing down first. I'll come back to you when, take these down. So the shelves are down. Um, yeah, it just gives me more of an area to work with there. So you see that, I'm gonna clean down all the mold with the white vinegar and just a towel, and then I'm gonna paint over it. Um, as you can see here, it's hard to, you obviously can't stand there, it's only a, uh, block standing up so what I'm gonna have to do is get a piece of timber and cut it put it here and put it down that end at least then I can walk along there yeah so again I don't care about the what being moisture in here or anything like that because it is what it is I just don't like the look of the wall mold so I won't have my blue wall around the pond anymore it's gonna be white but it should stop the black mold from growing back so as you see like I've got you can see it's wet the walls are wet but it's just it's just not nice being in here when it's like that so i just want to get that sorted like you can see that wall the other side of the wall there's no mold at all so it's just up over the pond yeah so i'm going to wipe this down and i'll come back to you to see how i am getting on yeah so i've just been at it a few minutes and you can see how easy it's actually coming off so what i did was put pure uh, white vinegar into this didn't dilute it or anything just spraying directly onto the wall and giving it a wipe and it's coming off even a lot easier than I thought it would. So I'm going to get all this, all the rest of it done, and then I'll see about where I'm going to paint and stuff, so just so I don't have to be doing it the whole time. And what else? I, I also just set up that there. It's just a bit of walking on to get to that back wall. I can walk up along the side and across. And I also, you can see it there. There's a heater in here. I'm going to leave this heater run for the night just to dry out a bit of the area while the paint is drying and then I don't really care after that. Yeah, so again, I'm not really solving the moisture problem. I don't really want to solve it. I don't really care about the moisture problem. It's more so just the growing of the mold. Um, yeah, so I'll snap back to when I have all the mold wiped down. So I just got the first coat done. It obviously needs a second coat. Um, so I just did up on the roof, up around, and to that section there. So it's a bit of a two-tone filter, filter house. I just didn't see the point in doing all over here and everything for just for the, all the obstacles. And this wall doesn't really get any mold. And plus the price of this stuff, it's expensive stuff. I'll show you what it is. It's Ronsil anti-mold paint. So just to get the first coat to dry in properly i'm going to leave this heater on for most of the night um just because it has to be a temperature above 12 degrees in here for the first coat to set 
and then tomorrow I will do the second coat and clean up in here. Um, you can see where I had to get the sticks across there for walking across there. For It's just awkward more than anything getting the roof above the pond. Yeah, so that's the first coat done. Um, get the second coat done tomorrow and clean up all this. You can see the feeder has gone off once or twice so I will get that back in situ and just prop it up there temporarily for tonight just so when I'm in work tomorrow it will go off and they'll get, they'll get some feed. Yes you can kind of see them in there. Yeah so my two-tone filter house, shed, whatever you like to call it. So it's looking a bit tidier in here um, in my two-tone filter house. Yeah, I was saying last bit, I just did that because the price of that anti-mold paint and I want to do a few coats. So I just cut it off there. This wall doesn't get affected. So yeah, these here, I got them, geez, about two years ago at this stage. I bought them, um, I seen them on Facebook Marketplace. I never did anything with them. They were just sitting up in the attic. So I put them up there. They look pretty good. Just put a bit of decoration in here. Um, three three coats in the wall. It doesn't look perfect, but that's kind of on purpose because if I did lovely perfect painting, the missus would have me painting the whole house. So this is strategic, making it look sloppy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it looks a bit cleaner in here. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I have some more of the floor paint. I just want to paint this section of the floor. This section and just down there just this bit here just to get it a bit cleaner looking and then what do i have to do i'm gonna clean this window here and see what else has to be done i'll come back to you anyway when this is painted actually before i do the paint i just want to show you what i'm doing with this uh next week this is all coming down yeah it's a bit of an eyesore now takes a bit away from the garden so this is all coming down knocked down next week what i'm doing is you have the patio there i'm just going to have a composite flat decking basically the width of the where you can see the black edge in there have a composite decking just flat there and maybe a light or two in it so you've seen that i already have power brought there maybe a lamp post here and a lamp post here just an extra sitting area and you're not kind of blocked yeah, so I'm going to get that down next week, which should be fun. Um, hope because the pond is deeper than the, the level of the ground, I should be able to get rid of a load of blocks just in there, kind of buried there before I put the composite decking parts. But I say I'll need a small skip to get rid of some of it. Yeah, so that should be fun next week. Try and get it done before summer months come and we'll have the garden completely finished yeah so i just did another coat of this um as i was saying i haven't done this since i did the fiberglass and painting in around here and everything like that so the floor was a bit in bits but yeah it's heavy duty heavy duty floor paints for a garage and stuff like that it takes a while to uh, dry up but that's why i have to just leave that heater on for a few hours just to make it a bit hot in here and it should dry up a bit quicker yeah, very easy to put on, just rolled on. Makes a big difference, just makes it a bit cleaner. So I have it up there, up to that corner and the front here. Um, yeah, so it's a heavy duty floor paint uh, slate. Kind of gloopy paint, but yeah, it does the job and cleans up nice. Um, yeah, so a bit of normality back to this place. So I will probably leave it there for this week. Um, next week, the next video I put out, what I'm going to be doing is taking the lids off this and going through all the fish in there, deciding what I'm going to keep going into the main pond and what I am going to move on. I won't be going into the main pond straight away. I'll probably start reducing the temperature in here at the end of the month and then I'll put the other fish up and whoever, if you're in Ireland and you're looking for them, you can see them. And if you're interested, you can give me a ring. Will that be all in the next video? Until then. I'll chat to you later.